we're starting off. We got here early enough to get the freight elevator. So, Odin's gonna be a little easier, as you can see. It's one dock. So we're about to get set up, and they laid out this room a little better. It feels like they enclosed the tables in more rather than having a ton of open space in there. And they gave me a bigger stage. Let's get set up. What's up guys, we are all set up here, ready to rock Columbia High School's 2024 Senior Prom. You guys have seen me play so many times for Columbia. Let's go check out the setup. One thing you guys are definitely gonna notice is this is actually after the gig, but through the power of video editing, we're still gonna do a setup tour and it's gonna show like it was before. But I'm not gonna tell you how the gig goes, you have to watch to see. So it's a little bit modified. We did have haze in here, but obviously we turned the haze off to conserve because we will need it tomorrow for tomorrow's big prom as well. Slightly modified from the shaker setup. We're running the ETX is on the stage because they built us a little bit bigger of a stage this time. Running the mover, a trussing, global truss at 34 with an S6 mini uplight. The wash effects are on this. C-clamped right on that thing. I was gonna use O-clamps, but I just grabbed the C-clamps because they were on it. We have the Sheds 10Rs, the ones they sent me for review, guys. Once again, make sure you guys use my referral code in the description. Tell them that you loved these lights. You got the both lighting IR4s that are shining on each side to sort of light me up as like some stage lighting. One big difference is we're trying the, like a ground package as they call it in the stage lighting. We're running the both lighted MH150 spot movers on the ground to sort of add another dimension. So you have like two different levels almost. We're running Alaska Utility Fan blowing this Chauvet Hurricane Haze 2D that was running earlier outwards. Substack, we have two ETX 18 SPs coupled in the center. People always wonder, like, why don't you run them on the sides? You should run them on the sides, it looks cleaner, no stands. When you move them in the center, you actually get an additional three decibels of gain. So it's a lot louder and the spread is more even. So, pro tip guys, run your subs in the center at schools. On top of this, to sort of fill in, especially for the people up front. We have a Purex 815W for center fill. Setup is completely mirrored on the other side. Go check, take a look on the stage real quick before we tear down. One thing to note guys, pro tip, check with your clients to see if the start time was correct because I had it written down one hour after it actually was. That's why I didn't have enough time and the lights are on. So you guys can see a little better. Best thing about this menu, besides that beautiful ceiling grid, which you guys always see me controlling, which they did give me the iPad this time. Power distro, six circuits, running off, of, I think, a 50 amp service. EV Everse 8 for monitors. Another Lasco fan, I bought another one because it's just such a luxury having that blow on me, cool me down. Podium is the Odyssey DJ Studio, just some phones I use to record content instead of the GoPro. You guys have probably been liking that. I use the Audio Technica M50Xs for headphones. 1000 SRT right here in the middle. That's my mixer. I have not upgraded yet. Sound switch control run runs my lighting. I like it. It's just easy and it syncs to BPM. I use a upgraded transmitter too. You can uh, get this on Amazon and it's for bigger venues like this much more powerful. It's got a mess down here but the usual rack with the power conditioner, mics, and for the mic I'm using a Sure mic with a Beta 58 cap on it. So that's all, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this video. This venue is always my favorite. Don't tell anybody else I said that. But anyways, guys, I already know how the gig went, but you guys don't. So enjoy the video. Thank <laughs> you. 
just like that, we cleaned up. Empty slate. Time to push these to Fredo. Good morning, guys. It is the day after the prom, and overall, debrief time, I think that one went pretty, pretty well. And I feel like I did mix. Normal pays didn't mix too quick. But, like, the benefit is I played for these kids, this group of Columbia kids, so many times that I kind of just know what they really react to.